Today is Saturday, man. It's race day, and uh, it's the Baja 400. 8.30, right on schedule. We're headed out. <laughs> we are uh, headed over to Ojos Negros, the other side of Ojos Negros, and uh, we're gonna get the show on the road here this morning. The boys have already left the starting line, so they're on their way, and uh, they're picking up Caden, and uh, we'll have this whole thing underway here in just a, just a little bit. It's PRP seats, shock therapy, Rockford Foz kick, keeping the bumps going. All right, so uh, we are at uh, race mile, I don't know, 70-ish, something like that. That's where we were doing a visual. Good thing we were there because uh, we had a little mechanical issue that we had to, that we had to rectify. Um, we had the parts, we jumped right on it. It was not a long fix, but unfortunately the car was uh, reduced power there for a little while because of the problem. And so, um, you know, we're not really right where we want to be this early in the race, unfortunately, but um, you know, there's a lot of time still and uh, you know, it, a lot of things can happen out there. So we're, uh, we're gonna keep digging here. We're headed up now and we're gonna set up for our fuel stop and uh, we'll see where we're at at that point. So race mile 140 basically, and uh, we finished our fuel stop. It was clean, uh, went really quick, didn't lose any positions there. Um, we really don't know exactly where we stand at this point because by the time we got down here, uh, there had been some cars through here already. So we're not really sure where we're at on the road. Um, when I get some phone service, I'm gonna try and figure it out. We're here at uh, 190 and the car just went by uh, he was flying. He's looking really, really good. Again, we still don't know exactly where we are position-wise. Um, we had a dozen cars through here while we were here, probably. But uh, you know what? We're still in the hunt. You know, we're not even halfway there. We're not even halfway to the finish yet. And uh, so now um, we're going to flip it out of here. And then, uh, you know, we won't see the car until Brandon's in it. And they're coming back from the Pacific side. Uh, gosh, over by 360, I think. So... Uh, we're gonna check out for a little while here and uh, we're gonna run back through Valley T and uh, see if they got any tacos left. For some reason they are just uh, I know yeah they're to die for I guess it's they're um, I don't know it's got a great flavor and I mean there's kind of no place like this really. So, it's a uh, it's a race day uh, tradition I guess I think they're making it I think they're making a pretty good living here and uh, we like supporting them so they're always here for us, morning, noon, and night. They'll be here at 2 o'clock in the morning still making tacos. After uh, we saw the car there at, uh, at 190, we, uh, we checked up here in, uh, in Valley T because uh, we got good phone service and uh, we can kind of track and see what's going on. And uh, we just found out that we have made the driver change. That's a done deal and the car's back on course. Um, and, and we're actually, we're, we're kind of back in the hunt here. It looks like uh, we may be eighth on the road right now uh, in our class, which is, uh, which is great because uh, after the early problems we had, we were dead last. So uh, if that's the case, I mean, we're super happy about that. Um, we still got some work to do. Uh, you know, we've got 160 miles left to go. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we got uh, a ways to go yet. Let's, uh, let's see how it all plays out. Are, uh, we're gonna slip down this access road. It's gonna put us on the course at about race mile 367, and uh, that's probably the last time we'll get to see the car. Uh, they had the checkpoint blocked there, or the military checkpoint. They were holding people up, so we thought, well, we can run down this access road and get to the course a little bit quicker, and uh, we don't want to miss the car. The last opportunity we have, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna check it out there, and then uh, and then ease our way back out to the highway. All right, so I think we uh, we just saw the car for the last time, and uh, I'd say we're at 367. Everything looks good. Um, these guys have gone from dead last uh, in our class, and they worked themselves up to uh, physically seventh position, and uh, they're just a couple of minutes behind another car, um, which they're gonna hopefully they're gonna catch them before the finish line. We won't see them now until the finish line, so no telling exactly where we're gonna finish. But uh, you know what? All in all. 
Uh, had a lot of problems here today. Um, a lot of little problems that, you know, those little problems, they just add up and they add up. And unfortunately, um, you know, it took us off the podium for sure. But, uh, but still, um, I feel like it's a pretty strong performance uh, given everything that happened. And, um, you know, really proud of it proud of all these guys and our team too so everybody did a great job um, you know we fixed a lot of broken stuff today and uh, and heck you know what we're gonna be ready for the thousand for sure um, and uh, I think uh, I think we're still in this we just got back to the house after a long day of racing uh, it's definitely not the day that we had in mind but nonetheless we still got to finish that's what really matters so Caden and Pat started the race uh, right off the start line, we had a malfunction with one of the plugs on, on the intake. Um, that came undone, and when that came undone, it killed the car. Um, they were down, we estimated about 10 minutes on that. Um, again, something something silly that should have been found long before the race, but it wasn't. And um, so they, they got that figured out. They were able to get going again. Um, after that, they had another mechanical issue. Um, that took them down for a little bit. They were in limp mode to get to the next pit. I think that was race mile 70 when that happened. Um, and then after that, um, I think we blew a belt, uh, high speed type of a situation, blew a belt. Um, so handful of mechanical issues, but we were able to get the car going each and every time. Our crew today did an awesome job taking care of the car, making sure that everything was, was all fixed and ready to go and so they could keep charging on. So huge prop to our crew on everyone that was out there that helped us. Really appreciate that. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. But um, they were able to get the car to me at uh, 240. I hopped in the car. We had a super fast driver change. Everything was, uh, was on lock. By the time they were done getting fuel, I think we sat there tightening belts for five, 10 seconds, something like that. So it was, it was an awesome driver change, fast fuel. Um, we were able to get the car back on course, do what we need to do and hammer out some miles. Um, after we, um, after we hammer, hammered out the miles, we were able to look at our gauge a little bit and figure out that we had to do a little bit of adjustment on our fuel mileage. Uh, we had a, that was our longest stretch that we had. So we pulled into one of the, one of the road crossings or one of the speed zones rather. Uh, we pulled in one of the speed zones. We pulled in there real quick and slammed some more fuel in it just to be safe. We thought we were going to make it, but last thing we wanted to do was be stuck out in the middle of the desert all night with no fuel in the car. It was very frustrating. So we slammed some more fuel in it. Um, as we were coming in, we noticed a little bit of a noise in the back end of the car. Um, they gave it a quick look over while they are putting in fuel in the car and didn't catch anything. Uh, we went a little bit further down the highway and realized that something really was not right. Um, kind of gave the car a little bit of shake on the highway and something in the rear end was coming apart. Um, come to find out is it was a hub. It looks like we probably sheared off a lug stud or something like that. Wheel was super loose, wallowed out the hub, um, and it was making a ton of noise. Probably wouldn't have gone a whole lot further when, once we were actually off-road. Um, they were right behind us again. They threw the fuel cans back in the truck and were able to get right behind us. We had pulled off the road, sat there for, again, 10 seconds, something like that. They were super fast, pulled in right behind us, jumped out, inspected the car, figured out what was going on, and was able to get the car fixed, ready to go, and the car was flawless after that. Um, so we definitely had a lot of downtime today, but it sounds like we still had a pretty good finish, somewhere in the top 10, hopefully. Um, and it's it's definitely it's we'll we'll see how it pans out. But nonetheless, we had a great day of racing. Even though we had our issues, we still had a blast doing it. Um, thank you everyone and our crew that helped us. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Um, obviously, we could not do it without you guys. And um, great day, awesome day.